In this video, I'm going to attempt to do a two-color print on my Ender 3 V3 SE. As you can see, the flywheel is set up, it's ready to rock. Um, the only thing is that you cannot do this file setup in the uh, Creality Print. So I noticed in Creality Print, they don't allow you to do a processing G-code. They don't let you to add a G-code. So for example, I have this file right here. This is the file that I'm trying to print in two colors. So this is supposed to be one color and here is supposed to be another color on the words or the name. So here, if you look at this part here, where do you do? Where is the pre-processing? There is none. It's just uh, the engineering department forgot to add that or it's just, this is like retarded. It makes no sense. So I had to go to Cura. Mind you, in Cura, they don't have uh, a 3D printer. They don't have the V3SE as a 3D printer. So I'm using the Ender 3. And what I'm doing here, check out the speed. The speed is 100 because that's the most that uh, Cura will let you do for uh, Ender 3. Uh, if you put more than 100 and the speed, so for example, 80, 180, it gives you this orange line, meaning there's, it's not gonna work out. Probably it's not gonna like, register it. So I've been doing, so I did my uh, here. So I have here, if you can see that, the number one, that's the uh, here, when you go to extension, post-processing, modified G-code up here. See, this is what I'm doing, false at height. I'm gonna see if it, try, if it works. Uh, this is the first time me trying this on the Ender 3 v, V3 SE. Um, I normally do this on my Ender, my regular Ender. So this is how the tag looks like. This is a normal two color print. I'm trying to see if my V3 will work the same as my regular Ender 3. All right, guys. So this is the first layer that has gone down. It's actually processing the G-code done for the Ender 3, just a regular Ender 3. So this is the G-code that I put together for it. It looks like it's working. I'm not sure if it's gonna like stop at height. It's gonna, um, so let me show you my, my, my pulse at height. So, so when you go to extension, you go to pre pre-processing, modified G-code, and here you, you select pulse at height, and then you add script. So this is the information that I have on mine. I have it under the Marlin MO, and this is the information that I want the, the printer to do. So this is a shame that Creality New Software post-processing modified G-code. So here, look, this is what they had. Like, I, I mean, I don't give it. It shows you the color, the time, and here, G-code. It just shows you the G-code, you cannot modify it. Look, I've been clicking on it, it's not working. So I don't know, I don't know, they need to like update this because this is uh, one of the reasons why I got this printer is to do multicolor prints. Um, I was hoping to do multicolor prints. So this is the first layer, it's supposed to stop at layer 16. That's the, the information that I put on my G-code to uh, stop at layer 16 and then I'm, it's supposed to retract the filament and then I'll put in my new filament and it's supposed to extrude and it's supposed to move the head over here and the body over there, I mean the, the Y axis over here, out of the way, basically. So it's supposed to extrude about 100 to 250 millimeters of the of the filament. And it's supposed to purge it all out. Um, I'm hoping it will work out for me. Um, it is functioning properly with the G-code from the Ender 3. Um, I don't see any issues. And also I have it running at 100 mill millimeters per second. I think somebody mentioned that in my previous video to say per seconds. I don't know, some guy mentioned it in my last video, so big shout out to him. 